Hi everyone, Joe for Jazz Base Hobbyland here. We did it, the 2016 Super Break Deluxe Baseball hit draft break number one filled up. In fact, it's right, right behind me right here, folks. It's right behind me. So big thanks to all of these folks for getting in on the action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there's at least eight hits per box. If there are more, uh, Nick Jaspi and I will uh, will kind of combine some of the hits together. You know, probably some of the cards together will be combined together. All right. Now there was some uh, division on opinion as whether we should do the draft order first or the hits first. So we're going to use random.org to figure that out. And we'll do a different dice roll for the. Uh, we'll do a different dice roll for this right here, unless. No, we'll do it for both. There it is. Seven. I like lucky seven. Five and a two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a good call. Six. Now, Michael's right. We actually should pull the hits first. That's a good call in case we do have to combine stuff. All right. Well, that was fun while it lasted. We're doing the hits first because we do have to combine it and we want to be able to combine it without any bias or anything like that. We'll just combine it first and then we'll do the draft order. There you go. Sorry. Michael made a good point. All right, here it is. Right here. Now, I don't know if this is going to fit on this table. Let's see if I can make room for it. This is possible. I'm going to do this. Is it actually going to fit on here? Oh, new camera might get in the way. Watch out, new camera. All right, there it is. You can see from the top as well. Super Break Deluxe Baseball. This is a hit draft. Hits coming out first. And we'll combo any hits if necessary. There we go. No, did I not get this side right here? I thought I did. We definitely need a, a, a larger breaking table for stuff like this, that's for sure. All right. Oh, wow. All sorts of crazy stuff in here. All right, so we've got something, got something here. We got the cards in here, right? Got another thing in here. Got all sorts of goodies here. Lord, oh God, keep talking over the camera. Too many big hits for this desk to contain. All right, there you go, empty box. Put the stuff back on here. Excellent. Okay, here we go. So that's one. Below that is two. This might be three, four, five, maybe? Six, seven, eight, and nine. So we will probably combo the cards. Those are usually the ones we end up comboing. All right. So we'll open up the cards first. First one is. Actually, so we'll, there's two in here. So we'll just keep these two together because that's how they intended it. So we've got Steve Carlton, Pinstripe Patch. 
and autograph. Nice. And then a graded Don Drysdale. Nice. 1962 tops, seven. Nice. Koufax and Drysdale. That was that was that was quite a one-two punch. All right, so that's the first one. We'll keep those together. Looks like there's two in here, so we'll keep these together too. Nice. We've got David Wright from National Treasures, made in the USA, six out of twenty-five on card auto as well. Nice, and I've heard of this guy, Hank Aaron, 1967 tops, graded a four. Very cool. So just for simplicity's sake, we're gonna combo these together like this as well. That'll just make things a little bit easier. I think there might be just one in here. There is, and I've heard of this guy. That's Chris Bryant from 2016 Topps Heritage Baseball. Chris Bryant, nine five ten, centering corners and surface a nine five, edges a ten, autograph a ten. Nice. We do have random category break of this too. That's almost filled up, ladies and gentlemen. That's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. You can get into that right now. This is a hit draft. The random category is uh, 50 some odd dollars. It's not too bad. All right. And the last card, and then we'll go into what's in the uh, yellow bags here. And there's two in here, so these will be comboed together. First we've got, I've heard of this guy. There's Alex Rodriguez. There he is, and graded three and a half, 1956 Willie Mays. A 56 Willie Mays. There, wow, that's pretty cool. All right. So we'll keep the, the the combo cards right here together, just as uh, as Super Break intended. Obviously, the Chris Bryant came alone. So that's one, two, three, and four right here. So there's four. And then let's pop this one open. What do we got here? Oh, it's a it's a book. Is that HW? No, it's W. That's pretty cool. Nice. Very, very cool. Where is it? Probably right here. Nice. Decision points by George W. Bush. And there's all the authentication right there. W signed book. Very, very cool. Nice. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight underneath. All right. So we do have eight. There's nothing to combo, actually. Next one is, is that a Dodger? Oh, I've heard of this guy. We, we've heard of this guy. It's a bar card, folks. Wow, that's nice. You guys see it on the top camera right there? 
with the bird's eye view. Let's get in right here. That's Mike Piazza. Piece of the bat right there too. It is a bar card. If you look right there, centering, edges, corners, and surface, a 9-5. And you can see right there that the autograph is a 10. And that's 5 out of 10 as well. There's the bat. Very cool. Nice. And what do we have here? Well, I lost my chat for a second here. Hold on. <laughs> There we go. All right, next one. We'll do this bottom one first. Got three ball players on here. What do we have? Wow. That's cool. That's Don Mattingly on the left side, Wade Boggs on the right side, and George Brett in the middle. Wow. There's the JSA right down there. Very already framed for you and everything. There's the JSA certification number over there. Very nice. This is turning out to be quite a case, right? And last but not least, who do we have here? I think I got a peek at this. Wow. Yep, it's him. Bill Clinton, ladies and gentlemen. And this is actually uh, Arkansas governor Bill Clinton, if you look right here. So there it is from the state of Arkansas, officer of the governor, Bill Clinton. There's a letter right there. And there's his auto. And his photograph. Very cool. So George W. Bush autograph in here and then a Bill Clinton autograph in there too. So that's pretty cool. So something for the left, something for the right, balances out. This is a very bipartisan case here. Very, very timely case here as well. There's all the certificate of authenticity and everything too. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, very nice. Very timely case with the Bill Clinton, the potential first dude of the White House. Then we've got former president, George W. Bush. Nice, very cool autograph in here, right on a book. And then we've got some nice cards in here as well. And don't forget the, uh, the framed triple autograph that was right here too. So that was pretty awesome. All right, so there's all the hits right there, kind of on camera. You can kind of see it from the from the bird's eye view camera as well. All right. 
All right, so let's see what we got here, folks. Um, let's go back to random.org. Now I rolled a seven. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that for the uh, for the list as well. We rolled that seven originally. So here we go. Seven times for the names. This is the draft order. Draft order. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There it is. Tim Langston on top. Adam K with the eight spot. And there's your draft order right there, folks. Tim Langston, you are up. So Tim Langston, if you want to see these uh, these hits again, let me know. You've got the uh, triple auto with Don Mattingly, George Brett, and Wade Boggs. You got the Bill Clinton signed auto from when he was governor. We've got. Uh, George Bush, George W. Bush, W's autograph inside Decision Points. Nice hardcover book right here. Look, look at that. Look at W right here. There he is. Let me show you. Let me show you W on the back cover right here. There's Dub, right there. There he goes. There's Dub. Um, we've got the Mike Piazza bar car. That's a nine five ten with his autograph and a piece of the bat. We had the two thousand sixteen. Chris Bryan, 9510. Right there. And X Line, you have the next pick too, so th think about what you might want as well. The Willie Mays, uh, 1956 Tops, Grayback, Willie Mays, graded a three and a half. All right, plus the uh, Alex Rodriguez card in here. That those two are comboed up as they came out of the pack by Super Break. You have the Drysdale, graded seven from 1962 Tops. All right, there are no ink or anything like that, along with a Steve Carlton in here too. And we had this back here, which would be the Hank Aaron graded a four from 1967 tops, as well as uh, David Wright, the National Treasures Made in the USA card, which was six out of 25. There you go. If you want to see something in, in particular, let me know. Yeah, it, it would be interesting to see how people draft this. Do keep in mind uh, to keep the... Uh, Keep your opinions to yourselves because some people might vote with their hearts. Some people might vote with their wallets. I want to give people a chance to kind of vote how they want to vote. Just like in tomorrow's election. I'm not going to tell you how to vote. You know, but you should vote. That's the thing. Yes, you can see that Chris Bryant again. This is 2016 uh, Topps Heritage Baseball Chris Bryant. 9, 5, 10. Those are the grades right there. And there's his autograph right there. There's the back of the card. It's not numbered. So that should focus. Are you going to focus? There you go. There's the focus. Yeah, the A-Rod was in the Willie Mays pouch, so it'll, it'll come together with that. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure what that A-Rod card was all about either. There it is. Four Sport? Something like that? There you go. That, yeah, four sport classic. Yeah, someone had to hand number that too. <laughs> someone had to hand number that. All right. So Tim, what do you think? An X line. You are on deck. Richard K. Coco Diablo in the hole. Adam Wolf batting cleanup. And then, of course, we've got the, the triple autograph right here. Don Mattingly, George Brett, Wade Boggs, the Bill Clinton autograph. W's over there. Mike Piazza bar card is back there. Piece of his lumber, his autograph, graded 9510, the bar. Tim Langston goes with the Chris Bryant. Two thousand sixteen Heritage Baseball Chris Bryant. There it is. X Men. 
So this Chris Bryant autograph going to Tim Langston. All right. Um, X line he wants some opinions. He said he was going to take the Bryant. He wanted to take the Chris Bryant, but it got snagged from him. So any he, and he's a, uh, specifically asking for opinions. So he's got the Don Drysdale, not not autograph graded seven. He's got the Willie Mays from fifty six graded three and a half. Way back here was the Hank Aaron graded a four from sixty seven. Right, plus the Steve Carlton and the uh, David Wright uh, National Treasures card right there. Uh, we got the George W. Bush, the Mike Piazza, the Bill Clinton, and the Triple Auto. Triple Auto, uh, yes, it was JSA. Nick Jaspi, right there. So there's the code on the back, right there, and there is the sticker on the front, right there. So. And, and yes, X-Line says for people outside this break, not in this break, obviously. Bustillo says Bill Clinton. TJ also says Clinton. James Davidson, who's not in this break, says Hank. Nick Tawak says uh, Clinton or the Triple Auto. Nick Jaspi likes the triple auto. Not He's not sure about the value. He just likes that piece. Yeah. Yeah, because listen, again, some people are going are gonna to draft with their hearts or draft with their wallets. Listen, you've got like the book, the George W. Bush book, the Mike Piazza, the Bill Clinton, the triple auto. We're not sure what the values of those could be, but those would be, uh, those would be more like just awesome, like, collector's items just stuff for your office or your man cave or or your living room or your game room or something like that you know what i mean like that so that's kind of what nick was saying you know i would go with that the triple auto he's nick jaspi is saying just because it's a really cool piece not sure on all the values but it's just cool josh x line was triple auto or clinton that's what he's leading towards so here's here's a look at the uh the triple autograph once again of these two legends or three three legends right here very cool already framed up for you and everything and there's the bill clinton autograph on a on some government document that's arkansas government document there he is it's a it's a young looking bill clinton right there non-stressed out former president bill clinton you look at all the presidents from like obama to bush to bill to to, to everybody you watch watch their hair in their first year, they get in and then watch their hair after they get out of office. It's pretty great. <laughs> they, they're, they, they all, they're all just stress cases and it's all gray heads by the time they leave office. All right, so what do you think in X-Line? Yeah, we got, we got Willie Mays, Don Drysdale, Hank Aaron, Mike Piazza back here too. A lot of options. I, I know it's a, it's, a, it's a tough decision, but we're going to need a decision. So let's see what X-Line did. The first pick was Tim Lanks, and he took the Chris Bryant. The No, Tim, the letter is not marked classified. It is fine. It did, not, it did not go through a secret mailbox in Arkansas just for their purposes. Uh, X-Line says, triple auto. Nice choice. Very cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So there it is. The Donnie Baseball, George Brett, Wade Boggs, Triple Autograph. So that I'll go to Josh X-Line. All right, there it is. That post-it note with your name on it. Awesome. All right, good pick. Uh, Coco Diablo, Rick K. 
Okay, you are up next. And remember, the cool thing is the X Man. X Man got this spot from one of our Jaspies fillers, or JaspiesHobbyland.com's filler spot randomizer. X Line got that for like probably 50, 60 bucks or something like that. Got a three hundred and ten dollars spot, walking away with a triple autograph. Very very nice. Coco Diablo, you are up next, Rick K. And then Adam Wolf, you're after that. So we still have the Bill Clinton. We still have the uh, 62 Don Drysdale, 7, along with the Steve Carlton. We've got the Willie Mays, graded 3.5 from 56, along with the Alex Rodriguez. And we've got the Hank Aaron from 67, graded a 4, along with the David Wright, numbered 6 out of 25, with the uh, USA patch on there too. And then the uh, George W. Bush autograph as well. You're torn between the Piazza and the Clinton. All right. Yes, absolutely. So there is, in fact, I'm going to leave the Bill Clinton in the, just because it's difficult, but this is, this is a lot easier to pop out. Uh, so there's the Piazza right there. PSA, piece of the bat. It is uh, Dodgers colors. Nice grade. It's a 9.5. The autograph is a 10. Right there, autograph to 10. And here is the Bill Clinton. Pop, prop this up here this way. So there's the uh, there's his autograph right there. There's the letter. Uh, signed in 1983, it looks like. And there's his picture right there. Obviously, nice frame. And the authentication was on the back as well. Yeah, in fact, a number of people got spots from the filler, Nick. Uh, Adam Wolf, Jason, and uh, Adam K with the last spot, with the last draft pick, got the... Uh, got the spots in a uh, filler. So there's the Piazza, there's the Clinton. What do you think, Rick? And then the W autograph is over here. Rick will go with the Bill Clinton, nice. So there you go, Bill Clinton framed autograph. There you go, Adam Wolf, you're next. Solid pick, I dig that. So we got a we got W his autograph President George W Bush his autograph book, which is nice. We have a bunch of cards still left. Hank Aaron graded a four, along with David Wright. So these come as a pair. These will also come together as a pair as well. Don Drysdale and Steve Carlton, and this will also come as a pair. Willie Mays with the A Rod. Right there. And Adam Wolf also looking for uh, some best value out of here. What does everyone think? Best value. Oh, that's right, Rick. Yeah, Rick Coco Diablo a while back got the got he got the Roosevelt letter. He's like the Bill Clinton can hang next to the Roosevelt. There you go. Coco Diablo, you're you're starting a very nice like ex president collection there. Lee Fulton likes the Piazza. James Davidson likes the Hank. Vasilis says Piazza or the Bush. Jake also saying a the A Rod or the Piazza. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna weigh in just because I don't think that's necessarily fair. So I'm just gonna let Tim Langston also saying A Rod or Piazza. That comes that's that's the Willie Mays I think is the main kind of hit out of there. But there, that A Rod is included as well. You <laughs> know. Not only a handful more to go, Rick. 
Chris Cabral on the Breakers.tv stream says, Card-wise, I would say the A-Rod combo for cards is the best value. Can't really speak for the other stuff. Well, he, Kisby, he asked. I think, I think that's, that, that's up to him. And hopefully, and he's going Piazza. I think it's going pretty chalk anyway, Kisby. So there's the Mike Piazza, the bar card right here. All right, Jason, you're next. Jason got a spot in our uh, in our filler, and Adam did too. So very nice. Jason, you're up next. Yes, you can stand by. So these so these will come as sets, right? So that's how they came out of the packaging. So this one is the David Wright National Treasures. Um, American flag and his on-card autograph, six out of twenty-five, and the the graded hit was the sixty-seven Hank Aaron, graded a four. All right, the next one is the graded card was the sixty-two Don Drysdale, graded a seven. Came along with a pinstripe patch and an autograph. Uh, Steve Carlton from National Treasures. That's uh, 2012 National Treasures. Oh, yeah, 23 out of 25. I should have mentioned that. Sorry. And then the graded card here was the 56 Willie Mays. Three and a half. And that came along with the uh, Alex Rodriguez. Now, White Sox hat? Oh, the miners. That's right. And Jason going Maze and A Rod. Nice. There you go. Willie Maze plus A Rod off the board. Excellent. Bowman, you're next. So now what you have left is the Drysdale. The Hank Aaron and the George W. Bush. So only three left. And that leaves uh, Mark. I don't think Mark is in the room, Stammerman. But uh, I think Nick Jaspi will help me uh, make that pick. And then obviously, Adam, you'll get, the, uh, you'll get whatever is remaining, which is still good. You're going to end up with a Don Drysdale, Hank Aaron, or George W. Bush. Autograph, so I think that's pretty cool. I always like it when these hit drafts um, end up being deep. You know what I mean? End up having a lot of uh, a lot of like either intrinsic value or monetary value. You know, because I, th I think that makes a draft a lot better. Who's with the Hank Aaron? That is David Wright. Six out of twenty-five, David Wright. Just one off the jersey number. USA patch on card auto on that one. This is from 2014 National Treasures. So that's with Hammer and Hank. And with Drysdale is Steve Carlton. National Treasures 2014. I think you can little focus in a second. There's 2014. The Hank Aaron is 1967. 
The Drysdale is 1962. And the Steve Carlton is uh, 2012 National Treasures. Oh, that's his, that's Arod's high school uniform. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, and here's the uh, here's President Bush's autograph again. If you want to take a look at that, there you go. That's pretty cool as well. Bowman wants to go with the Hank Aaron. Nice. Good choice. So he get, he takes the Hank Aaron and David Wright combo. So there it is for Bowman. And Mark is next. I don't think Mark is in the room. Nick Jaspi, what do you think? Now, according to the item description, we said uh, we said that we would go with whatever the val the highest value would be on a secondary market. And Nick Jaspi's there. I think he'll. I think he is there. He should be able to help me out here. Yeah, I feel like they're for off the top of my Nick's a little bit better at this or certainly better at the the value thing than I am. But in my head I feel like it'd be somewhat similar. Maybe the edge the edge might go to the Drysdale. Um, grade is seven and sixty two Drysdale. All star card. And that comes along with the Steve Carlton pinstripe patch and the sticker auto. 23 out of 25. So these come together. And then there's the George Bush autograph with the letter of authenticity and everything, of course. All right. And we're going with, there you go. We're going to go with George Bush, George W. Bush autograph book. Which should, which value wise may reach a, a wider audience as the, which is correct that's that's what Brandon Parrott was suggesting I agree, and then he the the Don Drysdale and Steve Carlton right there, and there you go folks that's the break. Hit drafts are always fun. Thanks for doing that, folks. So here's what we ended up with. Tim Langston got the 2016 Heritage Baseball Chris Bryant graded autograph, 9510. The X-Man with a spot from our jazbeeshobbyland.com spot filler uh, got the Donnie Baseball George Brett Wade Box triple autograph on the big 8x10 photo in a nice frame. I think that was very cool, X-Man. Um, Coco Diablo got the Bill Clinton framed autograph, which is very cool. Adam Wolf going, Mike Piazza, the bar card. I mean, these are not bad. None of these are bad choices. Willie Mays auto, uh, card, graded card, and an A-Rod autograph. Hank Aaron graded card and a David Wright autograph. The George W. Bush autograph book going to Mark. And, uh, and Adam ends up with Don Drysdale and Steve Carlton. Steve Carlton's an autograph. And the Don Drysdale is an old graded card there, graded a seven. <laughs> I mean... You want a hit draft to look like this, folks. As, as not not like one big monster hit, and then the rest are just okay. You know, just solid hits from top to bottom. That's all we can ask for in a break like this. Thank you very much, everybody. That was Super Break Baseball hit draft number one from JaspiesHobbyland.com. This is Joe. We'll see you next time. Random categories are on the website. Check it out, folks.